welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be using not polish acrylic powder and it is mauve about you og 137 i could barely remember just now which one it was and we're doing a very simple nail design which includes gel liner and some powders and you'll see how everything comes out and yeah I'll talk to you guys in a bit so as you know I pre prep my nails before I start my videos and you know if you understand pre prep that is buffing the nail beds applying the tips applying your primer and then starting your application I did pick up this bead a little dry and that's why it's taking me time to mold it to the nail um, but um, I got it done just make sure you keep your brush wet whenever you pick up your bead um, a bit too dry If you have good quality acrylic powders, you really don't need to do any strong brush strokes, very soft, gentle strokes to mold the acrylic powder um, with the nail. And that's something you need to keep in mind. But also your brush plays a very pivotal part of the application as well. So make sure you have a really good Kalinsky brush as well. I really don't have a method of how I apply my acrylics. I just pick up a bead and go with the flow until I know there is a lot of two bead, one bead, three bead methods. Um, it just depends on your your day and your mindset and everything. Um, I just go with the flow of how I pick up my beads and how it applies. As long as it applies perfect, almost perfect to where you don't have to do a lot of filing, that's all that counts. It doesn't matter if it's one bead, two bead, three beads. As long as your application is very smooth and it doesn't require a lot of filing and shaping when it comes to 
doing the final step on the nails.
So now that the application is complete and it looks very good, I'm gonna file and shape and then we're gonna get right into the nail design. Had a little technicality when trying to open up the orange um, powder, but I managed to get it open and I'm opening up the other ones. And we can get right into the design once I get everything together. So all I am doing is drawing some lines on the nails, just different patterns, and I'm going to speed up the rest and we're going to get into the application with the powders once completed. So now we're going to apply the powders to the nails and keep in mind that gel liners are normally tacky so that tacky layer will help the powders to adhere to the polish and you should not be trying to use non-tacky polishes because there are some colored polishes that are not tacky at all. So. If you find yourself having difficulties getting the powder to stick, it's probably because you're using a non-tacky polish. So make sure the polish you use has a sticky layer on top once it's cured and you'll be able to complete this nail design.
so now I'm dusting off the excess powder and then I'm gonna go right into top coating and that will be everything so let's get into that I want to say thank you to everyone for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe let me know your thoughts on this nail design let me know if you've tried a design such as this and i will see you guys in the next video